What's going on everybody? Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here and today we're going to be showing you how to install one of these SMB cold air intake systems on a 2015 to 2020 F-150 with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Real quick before we dive into the install, I just want to note that I am working on a 2019 EcoBoost truck specifically. There is a few tiny differences if you have a 2017, so just make sure you refer to your install guide depending on the year of truck you have to confirm any of those other bracket changes. But overall, the steps for this kit are going to be pretty much the same for any year within that range. So let's get right into it. First thing you want to do is come over to your battery and disconnect the ground terminal here just to be safe since we're going to be messing with some of the wiring for that intake. The first thing we need to do is remove these hose clamps. There's one here at the air box, one at this part of the snorkel, and then another one tucked down here. Now to remove the air box cover, we're gonna pop back these two clips here. And then we can also push the snorkel off the end of the cover. And you'll just kind of want to tilt it inwards towards the cab of the truck and you can pull the whole thing out. We can also lift our factory paper filter out of here and you can see that this one is long overdue for a change. On the back of the inlet pipe here, you'll see your IAT sensor. It's kind of near where your throttle body sits and you're just going to want to lift the harness up a little bit and rotate this counterclockwise. There we go. And once you have it that way, you can pull it straight back and it'll take a little bit of wiggle in here to get it free. There we go. And we can just set that out of the way. Make sure you also come in and pull this coolant line off the clip here on the inlet pipe. Now that we've got everything disconnected, we can pull this whole inlet Y pipe out of here. We're gonna pull the whole air box out with the snorkel as one unit, but first off, you're gonna to wanna to grab a pry tool and pop up these two plastic push pins here. Next, grab a ratchet and a 13 millimeter socket, and we're gonna back this bolt out here that's holding the box to the fender of the truck. Lastly, we just need to remove these three plastic clips holding onto this wiring harness and everything here, and then we should be able to get the box out. Before you set your factory air box aside, make sure you pull this rubber grommet and metal insert out because we're going to reuse these. And if you push this through the back, it kind of comes out as two pieces and then you can get the rubber out. So here we've got our new SMB intake box and this hole on the front is where we're going to reinstall that factory grommet. But we're also going to want to add in the silicone trim here for the snorkel going into the box. So we'll clip that on with the hardware they provide and then we can set this thing into place. Make sure to push your metal insert into place from inside the box. There's four holes here that hold this silicone piece onto the snorkel and you're gonna have a two piece clip for each one. So you'll just insert the top and the bottom, they'll push together and that'll lock this in place. One quick note, if you have a 2017 EcoBoost truck, you're gonna have a bracket that you need to add here with this pre-drilled hole. This truck isn't a 2017, so we're not gonna worry about it, but just refer to your install guide if that's the case. Go 
go ahead and grab this bolt that we removed from the factory airbox earlier to mount to the fender, and we're gonna reuse it in the same spot, but you're just gonna have to thread it through the inside of the box. Grab these two new plastic clips out of your SMB hardware kit, and we're gonna use them to connect this silicone piece to the radiator shroud on the truck. Now, once you push this in here, you'll see that the silicone makes this a little too thick for that clip to just push in on its own. So once you have it down as far as you can get it, you're gonna to wanna to grab a hammer and just gently tap the top of this to lock it into place. Grab this oval silicone seal and pop one of your hose clamps over it from the kit, and then we're gonna put this on the back of the air box. Once you've got it pushed on all the way and it feels like it's got a good seal, then tighten up your hose clamp. Grab the filter for your kit and add a hose clamp to this as well. And then once you have that ready, we're gonna slot it in sideways and drop it into the air box. Now, if you didn't unclip your IAT sensor from the harness earlier, you're gonna to wanna to just pinch down on the top of it and unclip it now. And then we're gonna reuse this. Grab your new SMB inlet pipe and add these silicone couplers to both ends. And you'll see that one's actually a little bit smaller than the other, so they really only go on one way. Then once you've done that, you're gonna have some new hose clamps for the kit. You can tighten the ones that are attached to the actual inlet, but leave these outside clamps loose because that's gonna help with pushing it back onto the truck. Now, if I flip this over, You'll also wanna add this rubber grommet here in the hole and that's where our IAT sensor is gonna go in. Before we put the sensor in place, remove this factory O-ring and just be careful not to damage the end of the sensor. There we go. Now, when you go to insert your sensor into this rubber grommet, you just wanna make sure you line up the tab with the arrow. And this is a little bit tricky, but once you get into place, you just wanna kinda of gently start twisting and pushing inward, or else it's gonna try and shove the whole grommet through the pipe. Okay, there we go. With everything prepped here, we can now put this tube in place on the truck, and then we'll also work on attaching the filter to the inside once we have it through the box. Now we can go through and tighten down all of our hose clamps to lock everything together. Grab this wiring harness extension from your kit and clip the first end onto the IAT sensor up here. Once you've got a nice click, then we can come over to the factory harness and plug it in on the other end. SMB also provides some zip ties in the kit, so if you want to tie this harness up to the inlet to keep that wiring from touching the motor, it's not a bad idea. Make sure you come back around to the back side of your air box, kind of near the firewall, and tie this wiring back up. You can either use some of the zip ties in the kit that they provide or the clips that are already on it should fit into the holes on the side of the box. After you've peeled the protective coating off this cover and added the rubber seal around it, we can set it in place over top of the filter, and then we're gonna use the screws that SMB provides to tighten it all down. Last thing we need to do is reconnect the ground for our battery.
So there you have it, folks. That's all it takes to install this SMB cold air intake on your truck. Now, if you're watching this and you're interested in picking up one of these kits for your F-150, we'll have some links down in the description that you can click that'll shoot you over to our website. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.